Hello Virgo, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star. So Virgo, this is your reading for the month of April 2021 and this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what, leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Okay, also Virgo, I'm starting uh, extended readings uh, from today. Okay, so if you find yourself getting resonated uh, with this reading on YouTube, you can find a link for the extended reading uh, in the description box below. You can check that out. I have mentioned over there what all you will find in the extended readings. Okay, just to reiterate, I have divided the extended reading in two parts, part A and part B. Okay, so part A will talk about your person, part B will talk totally about you. In part A, we will talk about uh, what your person will deep dive into their thoughts and their feelings. We'll see what your person is thinking and feeling about this connection from the headspace, from the heart space, from the soul. What advice they are getting from the higher powers regarding this connection. What they think are the challenges, or the hopes and the fears in this connection. With the help of the love notes, we'll see what they were thinking and feeling about you regarding the separation uh, during the separation period and at the end we'll see what they intend to uh, what action they intend to take towards you or towards this connection right as far as part b is concerned i told you like it is totally about you we'll see what is your advice when it comes to this connection secondly we'll see what is your advice if you intend to move on thirdly we will see what is your advice for your life in general okay then fourth we'll see what is your advice when it comes to your career and your finances and at the end we'll wind up this extended reading uh, with the affirmations for you right as far as this reading on YouTube is concerned what you will see is the format will be like I'm gonna place a couple of cards over here and they will represent your energy then I'm gonna place a couple of cards over here they will represent the energy of the person you are thinking about your feeling uh, uh, you are dealing with in between I'm going to place a couple of cards and they will represent the mutual energy between you and your person Thereafter, I'm going to pull some cards from another deck and we'll see what are the general messages What are the non-love messages for you and your person later on? I'm going to pull some cards uh, pull some oracle cards and we will see uh, What your person is thinking and feeling about you sorry uh, with the help of the oracle cards, we'll see what are the messages from the higher powers, what are the messages from the universe uh, regarding this connection or in general, okay? And that's how we are going to wind up this reading. So, if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading, I would request you to hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the videos. Right, Virgo? Let's get started. High Priestess for you, the Empress, Hierophant, interesting, all three major arcana cards for you. For your person we have Hangman, Five of Pentacles, the Tower, out of six cards we have five major arcana, so something really major is going on, okay. Uh, mutual Energy is that of Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. So number seven is of some importance over here. There is, uh, you may be seeing a lot of seven, seven, seven. You may be seeing a lot of five, five, five. Okay. All right. Uh, so if I have to talk about the zodiac signs, Virgo, you may be dealing with Cancer, Pisces, uh, Libra, Taurus, uh, Scorpio, Aries, Pisces again. Okay. Uh, I also see Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. <laughs> All right, so let's not remain fixed on the signs. If the sign pops up, all the better. So, Virgo. Hmm. High Priestess, Empress, and Hierophant. We have High Priestess and a Hierophant. We have counterparts over here. I believe there is a third party situation over here which you no longer care about <laughs> there is a third party situation which you no longer care about you are focused on yourself you are you probably i feel uh virgo that your intuitions are really strong at this moment okay your intuitions are very strong and you know 
that certain things are going to happen in next couple of days or in, or in next couple of weeks or in next couple of months your intuition is trying to tell them that certain events certain incidences are about to happen okay and you are patiently waiting you are patiently waiting you are not like you know i don't see you taking any kind of initiative from your end to get back to your person or to communicate to your person you are patiently waiting because probably you are intuitively feeling that your person is going to come towards you your person is going to contact you this is what you're feeling intuitively in the meanwhile you are really you're really working on yourself virgo okay you are attracting and you are manifesting a lot of abundance okay i also see that some of you are shamans some of you are psychics you have some really strong psychic abilities okay let's not get over here we have high priestess empress and hierophant <clears throat> i'm very sure you people have some you people have some really good really really good psychic abilities over here okay some of you may be tarot card readers i also see that money is looking very good for you people money is looking very good for you people i also see that there are a lot of there will be more than not more than one in fact i see many people are going to be interested in you many people are going to feel attracted towards you many people are going to look up to you they are they will be like oh my god look at virgo look at virgo the way he or she is glowing they are looking so beautiful they are looking so handsome and i also see that it's not just about your physical appearance but when it, when it comes to your career when it comes to your profession you will be you will be riding a high wave okay you you are on the top you probably had a lot of goals and you are very much near to achieving your goals or you have already achieved them money is looking really good for you some of you are going to purchase a house some of you are going to purchase some sort of an asset for yourself i believe that you are you have goals for 2021 and it, it looks like the goals are to uh, get promoted to a certain designation if you're working somewhere the goals are to uh get married by the end of 2021 the goals are to have own a house by the end of 2021 own some sort of an asset by 2021 or accumulate certain wealth by the end of 2021 okay i also see that some of you have some business plans and i see there is a sort of a switch that is going to happen some of you may quit the job and start something of your own or you have already started something of your own and i believe that <clears throat> there is a shift that is happening some of you may be also changing your homes some of you are getting relocated to a different country i see that there is a different culture that you will be exposed to okay so it may happen that you change a job and you uh, it may be a uh, an mnc of a different country okay so for example say for example you were working in a us mnc or you were working in an european mnc and uh, you will change you you will change your uh, your company and you will find a job in a different mnc which comes from which has a southeast asian culture or something like that you will be exposed to a different culture or you may meet people from different cultures that's what i'm feeling over here very strongly there is a new environment uh, you will be exposed to okay i also see that you are going to rise up okay there is there is a lot of progress when it comes to your profession there is a lot of progress when it comes to your career you are going to rise up and you are going to make a lot of progress and you are going to earn good money out of that and people are really going to look at you uh, from a place of respect and people will come towards you for advice or something like that some of you are going back to the school with that hierophant card uh i definitely sense that some of you are going for higher education some of you are getting shifted to a different country for education some of you are taking up some online courses you are enhancing your knowledge you are enhancing your skill set okay some of you are starting youtube channel there is a lot going on over here okay what i see is you know your person is going to come back and you are waiting patiently for your person to come back you are not at all in a hurry 
you're focused on your career you're focused on your own growth you're focused on your own abundance you are totally focused on how you're going to attract abundance how you're going to attract growth in your life okay how you're going to attract money how you're going to create a wealth for yourself you're totally focused on that and uh, as far as love of course you have not at all given up on love but you are not desperate for love that's what i'm getting over here as far as your person is concerned hanged man five of pentacles and the tower your person is delaying uh, the f delaying the decision making process your person is delaying the decision making process of uh, leaving the third party if at all there was a third party this person should have left the third party by now if they haven't left this is what is going to happen okay they will be forced to leave something is going to happen i see that with that hanged man i definitely see that your person has delayed uh, certain decision making they should have left the third party by now but if they haven't left then they will be forced to leave the third party uh, if it's not a third party situation then there will be they will be forced to give up something which they should have given up long time back maybe their addictions or maybe something else okay they as far as you are concerned you are on their mind you are definitely on their mind but somehow i see that i they are very much dealing the process of coming towards you by now they should have come towards you virgo okay mutual energy is a uh, seven of pentacles and seven of swords so again i'm telling you number seven is of importance over here you may be seeing a lot of seven 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 huh So there is an acknowledgement from both the ends that whatever happened shouldn't have happened. There is an acknowledgement from both the ends that there was a great potential or and there is still a great potential in this relationship or in this connection. And this relationship could have gone to a different level had both of you had your person like you know uh a subject to your person if they were sincere in their efforts but they were not okay and that's why there is a loss that has happened and both of you have recognized it your person knows that that whatever separation or whatever this opportunity was being missed it was being missed because of their own acts okay and of course you know that you separated from this person because they were not good in this relationship they were not good to you right so let's see what are the general messages virgo what are the general messages Ooh. so let's see what are the general messages for you and your person virgo what are the general messages for you and your person what are the general messages for you and your person two of pentacles Six of Cups, Two of Cups, Eight of uh, Sorry, if we have Strength, which is card number eight, Knight of Wands, The Lovers, Two of Pentacles, Six of Cups, and Two of Cups. I sense that there is someone new who is also. about to enter in your life you will you will be faced with some choices you will be faced with some choices a past life uh, soulmate is resurfacing in your life virgo okay there is someone new who is interested in you and not just one person i feel that there will be multiple people who will be interested in you you will be faced with options okay and that's why there is a dilemma that whom you need to choose i also see that when it comes to your career when it comes to your profession there is some sort of a dilemma that is going on or you're overworking yourself you're doing multiple things at a time and you are uh, you're juggling between different professions that's what i'm getting like you know maybe 9 to 6 you're doing 9 to 5 you're doing a job and then there afterwards in the evening you're doing something else there are a lot of things your platter is full right now okay and time you need to devote yourself time there is there is a lack of self love over here okay you're not giving yourself enough of attention so strength knight of wands and the lovers as far as your person is concerned your person is in love with you okay but there is a 
a lot of fear in the mind they intend to come towards you with a lot of passion but again there is a lot of fear they don't have the courage they are a bit ashamed about uh, what they have done to you in the past they are a bit ashamed about it but again i'm also getting that there are some there are many new people again many i'm using the word many many new people who are interested in you virgo okay let's see what are the messages from the higher powers regarding this connection let's see what are the messages from the higher powers regarding this connection what are the messages from the higher powers regarding this connection what are the messages from the higher powers regarding this connection what are the messages from the higher powers regarding this connection goddess of the moon and the thinking women whatever decision you are going to take you really have to think through that okay think well enough don't be impulsive in taking any kind of decision whatever decision that can be you want to stay you want to move on you want to find a new person okay uh, or you you want to entertain your past person whatever decision that is whatever decision you are going to take take after you have thought enough don't take some impulsive decisions you have to think enough uh, before you take any kind of decision okay do not rush yourself goddess of the moon is yes it's it's more of a an empress card okay there is a lot of abundance there is a lot of growth that is going to happen for you people there is a lot of money that is coming towards you people you are attracting many people you are attracting your soul tribe and these soul tribe okay they are going to help you elevate they are going to take you to a different i'm telling you right you will be exposed to a different culture you will be exposed to a different environment okay and that is where your soul lies you're going to feel very happy in that environment you're going to feel like you are within your people for so long you were feeling that you are you know you're out of the place that this is not where the home is that's that's the kind of a feeling you had but very soon you're going to meet your soul tribe okay <sighs> let's see what are the messages from the universe what are the messages from the universe let's see what are the messages from the universe let's see what are the messages from the universe let's see what are the messages from the universe Pucker up the buttercup. So being fair and reasonable will earn you respect and admiration, but being genuinely kind will make you a total love magnet. Go for the love magnet. So you have been asked to become love magnet. Like even if you act reasonable and fair, that will be fine. But if you have to attract a true love, you have to become a love magnet. You have to become more kind and compassionate. Okay. love is never in vain do not doubt love do not think like what love can do or so far whatever happened i invested so much in love uh, connections i was pouring out love but everything was in vain don't don't ever think like that okay you will find the best learning experiences of your life uh through your love connections okay your best growth will be achieved through your love connections let me tell you that you needn't worry you're worrying about something there is a lot of anxiety in your mind about certain something or certain things because of which you may act impulsively okay so stop the worry you what you give will come back so what you are sending out is going to come back what goes around comes around if you're sending positive vibes positivity will come back to you if you're sending negative vibes negativity will come back to you okay so be careful what you are sending out things are not as they appear you glow we beam do not with this things are not they appear I, again i am feeling like do not jump to conclusions be true to yourself be true to yourself make yourself happy rather than trying to make anyone else happy right 
All right, Virgo, I hope this resonates. If this resonates, there is a link for the extended below. Please go ahead and check that, okay? Uh, you will find in the description box what all do I cover in the extended reading, right? Please hit like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below. Till then, bye.